Welcome back to Screen Terror. We search through the gazillion videos uploaded every second and find the newest, bestest game videos for you. So you don't have to do a damn thing. Oh yeah, hold on. See, this is why I don't do that. Hey guys and gals, Mick Murphy here. I'm a carpet bagger, see? Mevio asked me to come down and give you the what's for and all the programming. Tech, women, men, and music. Hey, they gave me a rickabock and two loaves of bread, so that was a pretty good deal. But looks like a great show. I'm really excited about it. Olivia, aren't you excited? Lots of great stuff. Holy smokes. Cheese and crackers, it's hot out there, isn't it? I'm out here on my stoop for the kitties. Get their candy on. Let's just say it's part of community service. So shut it. What the hell? Too young. What do you want? You smell and have a bad personality. Oh my goodness. And you're not bad parenting. Hey, everybody, Carl Sardella here for Tech Hive's coverage of CES 2013. I'm on Sesame Street. What's going on? Hey, everybody, we're here at the House of Shields in San Francisco, California, to look at the new Lord of the Rings game, the first mature title, which means blood, Lord of the Rings War in the North. So let's go take a look. Greetings. I am Stuart Cullen, brother of Edward Cullen from Twilight. I'm more of a half-brother, really, but he gets a lot of the attention, but I'm, I'm also a vampire. True vampire. Caroline, I must tell you something, and I don't care who knows. No. Bub, bub, bub. I know you tried to kill me, and I know your sister is in a coma, and I know just last week you had facial reconstruction, but I love you. No, you mustn't. I must. Holy smokes, I'm gonna beat this video game so close. Hey, do you like video games like I do? Would you like to make a web show about video games? Well, take classes like I do at the Gaming Annex. <laughs> And so you've been doing video game stuff before, Def Jam, stuff like that. You, you pop up everywhere. I was like, oh, you're in a video game again. Um, do you play fighting games? Like, or did you play when you were growing up, like Mortal Kombat and all that kind of stuff? Or? You know what? I try to, but I don't like getting my ass kicked. So the first thing you could do for Father's Day is get your dad a Sony Dash, because they are pretty dad-ish. I mean, tons of other people use them, but I'm just saying, it's got sports. Hey everybody, I am Carlos Rodella. And I'm John C. Dvorak. That is true, C is his middle name. And this is Cesspool 2010, where we're gonna cover the coverage of CES. This is a meta show. Hey, morning, John. Good yeah, morning. What a day, right? Sure is a beauty, sure is a beauty. Sure is a beauty. Hey, I'm cool, look at me, don't look at you. Yes, sir, the new Honda Elite 2010 scooter. Imagine cruising at 50 miles per hour with an automatic thematic transmission. Seamless acceleration to move with ease. You look way more hip than you do now. No offense. Speaking of Skyrim, here's what it would look like if your grandpa played the game. Now, this is what I do instead of spending time with your grandma because, frankly, she smells of mothballs and maylocks. Audi, why does Arizona and Indiana not adhere to daylight savings time? I'll tell you why. They're idiots. That's it. It's the end of the show. Confused on what to tweet, when to check in, where to Facebook, who to add to a circle, bombarded with new sites to join, usernames to create, and updates to post? Hi, I'm Carlos, and I'm here to talk to you today about a new way to help you. It's called Get a F***ing Life. Yes. We can be, we, this could be the show. <laughs> he's, he's a stand-in. It's kind of hurting him as it clips onto him. <laughs> That's okay. Now I have the mic. <laughs> My voice is crazy. On the tech network. Surprise Santa! Come on! Oh, you know, one magic Christmas. Surprise Santa. What? No. Where is this going? Is this going to the internet? It's gonna go there in a little while. Oh my See, god. At some point. That's terrifying. It's Brad Muir, Double Fine. Hey. Good friend. So what are you doing here? What, what did you see so far? Oh, I've been, well, I've been uh, taking some meetings, doing some pitches, pitching my new game. Behind closed doors. Well, yeah. I mean, it's it's just a pitch right now, but I'm pretty... So you'll tell us right now on camera. Yeah, I'll tell you all about it. I'll give you all the details. Okay. It's about cats in space. You heard it here. GameSpot exclusive. We're going to a topic. We have a topic now of some sort. This we talked about over dinner. Why are you cutting me off? I'm sorry. Go ahead, please. So our topic of the day 
We have. A, I'm going to ask you a question. You're going to answer it. And you're going to ask me right back. All right. What are you thankful for? Oh, good. What What are you thankful for, Agnes? Honestly. Don't say your business. My dolls. God damn it. I sold 12 dolls this year. The God itty bitty her. teenies. God bless her. Beautiful dolls. I made. I made pretty good money. I got to be honest with you. The dolls aren't beautiful. Infidelity, disfigurement, got run over by a car, damaged pride, set on fire, acid burns. We'll find those motherfuckers and make them pay. We'll enact vengeance on their person, and if they have cash on them, we'll get that too. Here at Langley and Hammer, we aim to right any wrong you had done to you. Alright, we're going to start the show with this kid who is seriously out of control. I'm confused here. Aren't we watching him play his game? Kid, you're playing it. Oh, and by the way, apparently you're also sucking at it. What also weirds me out about this video is, can we pause it right here? What is going on with this kid? It's like the Blair Witch Project or some fucked up ending to a horror movie. Is he planking the couch? Now let's check in with Desktop Sports with Chuck. Thanks, guy. This is Chuck Rock over here with Desktop Sports. Dude, the nerds over here at Action News changed my manly sports show into a video game segment. Really gets my goat. Ugh. What is the practical application or, or, or implication? Of well, if a quantum computer could actually be produced correctly, it could process all things at once. So instead of having to wait for calculations to go by in succession, it would produce them at once, which means it could potentially produce unlimited power, black holes, and... Lots of other crazy things. Black holes? Yeah. Hey everybody, Carl Sordella here. I've done web shows on the internet you might have seen about video games, tech, or comedy sketches, but I have something that I'm really excited about. You wanna see it? It's an arcade! Do you guys remember those things? Some of you don't? This is part of the, an uh, the interview where we actually get animated, so. What? Yeah, here you go. Did you not know about that? No, 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 no. Oh. Okay. Well, here it's happening now. All right, so how do you feel? Pretty solid. This is a zombie. He's my friend. He might, he might kill me. Brains. No, he's, he's actually friendly. You're both are actually kind of nice guys. Ah! And uh, a tip you can give to other video producers out there, whether interactive or just straight production. Right, I'll say two tips. One, the first one, if you're the host or if you're being on the show in front of camera, you know, definitely don't look at other shows and patting yourself after them at all. Do your thing. Be yourself. Number one thing. People are going to buy you, you know, they're going to buy your honesty and who you are. The second thing is more of a production thing, lower thirds.